parent brings out our protective instincts. Kaya naman yung mga gamit natin sa bahay na dating gustong-gusto natin, di ba parang bigla na lang naging threat sa ating mga anak. At dahil sa mga baby at lalo na sa mga toddlers, kasi di ba yung mga toddlers sobrang lilikot nila at kung saan sila nakapuntan sulok-sulok. So kailangan natin gawing mas safe at sound ang ating mga tahanan para sa ating mga anak. Today, I'm going to share some tips kung paano magiging safe ang ating mga anak sa ating mga tahanan para namang maging malaya silang mag-explore at makapaglaro. I'm Risa Sanon at nandito tayo ngayon sa SMDC Shore 2 Residences for Luxury Meets Cozy at ito ang The Good Home. No one is more curious than a toddler who's just discovering the space around him. And since we don't want to put a break on their enthusiasm for exploration, it's important that we make sure that they have all the protection they need when they start crawling or cruising around the house. I'm here to give you some ideas on all the ways you can make your home a safe place for your child to enjoy. Let's get started. When baby-proofing your home, it's best to see it from your child's perspective. So get down all fours and explore your house to spot the potential risks. Don't be afraid to look silly. After all, no one is watching, right? Prevention is better than cure, so limit access to the high-risk areas such as the kitchen, stairs, and the bathroom. Pwede rin tayo maglagay ng mga safety gates sa mga lugar na sa tingin natin may be harmful sa ating mga anak. This is especially helpful when you have a toddler who is constantly cruising around. The biggest risk in the living room, dining room, and the bedroom is falling and tripping. Lagyan natin ng double-sided tape yung mga carpets or mga basahan natin sa bahay dahil minsan ito yung nagkakos kung bakit nadudulas yung ating mga beans. So, ayan. Ayan, stable na siya at safe na yung baby. At syempre sa mga tight ang budget, pwede naman tayong gumawa ng mga medyas ng babies natin. Yung mga lumang medyas nila. Tapos, lagyan lang natin ng fabric paint para hindi silang madulas. A simple hack that you can do to protect your child from sharp furniture edges is to use soft foam tubing. Furniture pieces that are too tall have a chance of tipping over. So make sure that they are anchored securely to the wall as well. Naranasan nyo na ba na masaraduhan ng pinto ng biglaan na hindi nyo alam? Sobrang sakit nun. Kaya kailangan nyo ng rubber doorstop. Siyempre, ayaw naman natin na ma-experience yun ng mga babies natin. Dahil kasi sa stage nila, nandun na sila sa naglalakad sila, nag-iikot sila dito sa bahay. So, hindi nila, hindi sila aware na bigla na lang magsasara yung pinto. At least, kapag may ganito na tayo, hindi na sila may ipit. They're pretty inexpensive and readily available in hardware stores and even online. Once na na mag-start, maglakad yung mga babies natin. Siyempre, iniisip natin yung mga dapat nilang abutin. At isa doon, ang pinakadelikado, ang mga saksakan, yung mga outlets. Electrical outlets. So, ngayon, lalagyan natin siya ng plastic outlet protector. Para hindi nila isubo or ilagay yung kamay nila at hindi sila makapiyente. It's also a good idea to unplug cords when not in use or tape them to the walls if you have to. The same goes with curtain tiebacks and the cords on your window blinds and shades. Make sure that they are always out of reach. Next is to secure all harmful products and chemicals in your house and make sure that your babies will never ever find them. 
Same goes for plastic bags and wrappers that can be a suffocation hazard to kids. At para naman sa mga cabinets na maabot na ating mga babies, kailangan natin to. Ang sticky goods. Ididikit natin siya dito. So, kailangan sobrang madiin para mas madikit. Ayan. Para hindi na nila mabuksan talaga at hindi nila maabot yung mga chemicals like mga mga sabon na dapat ba makain pa nila yun. Babies constantly put things in their mouth so keep small items like batteries, fridge magnets, and toys in boxes and away from those little hands because your child can potentially choke on them. But make sure that your toy boxes have hinge guard to prevent your child from getting trapped inside. Kailangan laging malinis para walang mapulot sila babies na maliliit na bagay at isubo nila to at machoke sila. The same goes for MOBAs. I know that it's a great way to help your baby focus and stimulate brain function. But as soon as your baby starts to push up on their hands and knees, which is about 4 to 5 months, then the mobile has to go. Accident can happen anywhere, especially in the bathroom. So never ever leave your baby unattended during bath time. Make sure you have non-sleep mats to help you get a grip. I know that plants are a big thing nowadays, but some plants can be poisonous. So keep your plants somewhere where those little fingers can reach. Sometimes we don't notice our small children crawling behind us in the kitchen. Kailangan tayo maging aware kung saan natin ibababa ang cup of tea or coffee natin kasi baka maabot ni baby at mapaso sila. As much as we want to create a safe space for our babies, the best way to protect them is still supervision. Kaya naman parati natin silang binabantayan pa rin. Kagaya ko, kay Knight, lagi ko siyang binabantayan habang natutulog siya kasi gusto ko magkaroon din ako ng peace of mind. I hope you had fun with me today dito sa napakagandang SMBC Shore 2 Residences where every day is a vacation. I am Raisa Sanon and this is The Good Home. See you next time! Hi everyone! Catch our videos on YouTube at the official SMBC and while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.